Meet 32-year-old Jana Gamble. Gamble endured domestic violence and battled cancer. She's well-educated and a mother of two. The general public sees the chronically homeless that are on the street and, and asking for donations and, you know, soliciting. But they don't see that I'm passing them by in the grocery store and my friends are passing them by in the grocery store and other people in the community. It's a faith-based program and really it's more not even, they're not preaching to you, but it's their faith in you that I've seen um, and how they believed in me and they knew what they saw inside of me before um, I could remember what that was that I was missing and it was really a, just a strong support system for me and I really appreciate that. People in this room have donated us food. Don't lie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you don't know how much that this suit means to a woman that's coming in that has been going through abuse, that is at a shelter, that is overcoming adversities of all types in her life. And we also don't know what you're going through, those people that donated the suits. You and two may be going through a divorce, maybe going through a job change. All these things that we are all the same. These women that, you know, you're on welfare, you have six figures. We all have our own issues, we all have our problems in life, but we're all overcomers. They were there to help me start to recognize that reflection once again that was in the mirror. The way that I could see myself for who I am supposed to be. Even through all of our successes, at times we still fall and we need a helping hand. And I've had the nursery staff there by my side recently, just as they were over eight years ago. In 2011, I was a match and decided to be a donor, a living donor, to donate a kidney to a friend. I was denied at the end because of a sickle cell trait that I possess. And then 12 months later to find out that there was three years worth of growth in that same kidney that I was going to donate called a little thing called cancer. They diagnosed me with renal cell carcinoma at the age of 31. It's a privilege and honor to be with you today and to be celebrated um, for all the successes that I have in my life already and those to come and celebrate with you. And I just encourage each and every one of you to live a lifestyle of a giver no matter what part of your life you're at.